Hey, citizens of the future, citizen of the future here. And today's video, I'm going to cover six secret tips and tricks that have worked for me, that I've come across, that I've found these last four years of my uh, activity following the blockchain revolution. And these, these tips and tricks are for pros and beginners because it doesn't matter where you are in your journey everyone has room for improvement. The things I go over in this video is a wide variety of different things that you can use to improve your processes and organize your information. So the first one that I go over is about a portfolio tracker app that I use called CoinStats. The second one is called Notion. This one changed my life. It's a notepad that's completely editable, that's so clean and so easy to use. Third thing I go over is how you, if you've seen my videos, you've seen my mind map. The technology that I use is called Figma, and it allows you to view any article that you've seen in the last few years. With a couple clicks of a button, you can have access to that article just like that. It's revolutionary. It's like you have a second brain inside the computer, okay? The next thing that I go over uh, just the basic generic one is to make sure everyone has two-factor authentication and then uh, that's just a quick part of the video and the other one is called scribble now highlighting notes you're reading pdf documents you're taking notes scribble is another free plugin that i found and it changed my game because now i highlight pdfs and i can send that highlighted pdf to you guys just like that and then i get into just showing a quick like what does a crypto calculation look like when you're trying to find an entry point and how I use a spreadsheet to do my calculations. And uh, those are the tips that I'm going to cover in today's video. And I think if you use, if you start implementing these into your system, you know, within the next month, the next six months, the next year, you will have drastic exponential growth in your processes and just how organized you can get. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's dive in. Okay, so for the first thing I'm going to recommend here for everyone, if you don't have a portfolio tracker that keeps track of your portfolio, that you can watch prices easily, you can add favorites, then check this out. CoinStats has been a game changer for me. Uh, it's awesome for keeping track of prices. It's awesome for keeping track of portfolios. I'm going to show you a quick run through. I just made this account, put some just token values in there. Uh, it's none of my real balances or anything. But so, for example, you have all your all your crypto prices that you can add favorites, you can follow. Uh, it's really clean UI. You can go dark or light. And then what the portfolio tracker? This is what I love about this app is because anytime when you're when you're purchasing, buying, and selling crypto. Please do yourself a favor and keep track of every buy and sell. When you buy something, you put that in, enter it into your portfolio tracker. Because if you don't and you have to go do taxes a year from now and you do it all at once, it is a nightmare. It is a complete nightmare. So, for example, uh, with CoinStats here, really awesome. You can set up different uh, portfolios within your portfolio. So you can add an extra one. You can have it all split up. Um, you can add tokens, whatever. It's just easy. You just you you click, add add a token transaction. You type it in how much you bought it for, and it keeps track in a nice thing how much you're up, how much you're down, and anytime you buy or sell, you implement it on here, and it keeps track of all your transactions. So and then this is the the best thing. So my my brother uses Blockfolio. And that app sucks. It doesn't have an export CSV file, which is like when you go do your taxes, you're like, I'd like to export it to uh, an Excel document so you can print it off. You have all your profits and losses. It's all good. Blockfolio doesn't have this, which is like, why not? Why can't I export all my transactions? So you have to do it manually. But on CoinStats here, you hit this button, literally comes up in a CSV file, and you have all the numbers of your profits, your losses, the dates and times. You literally just take that to your tax accountant and boom, he does all the work. Um, so this is a really clean, it's good. It syncs between your computer and your mobile phone. Really awesome. Um, highly suggest. So 
do yourself a favor. If you're investing, keep track of all your buys and sells. Do not leave that to the last minute. I'm warning you because it is a pain in the butt going through all your exchanges and adding it up at the end of the year. So that is my tip to you guys. There's a, a, a profit tr uh, tracker on here somewhere. It's on the phone. I know that, but it's a profit calculator. So you can calculate uh, if, if I buy $3,000 worth of XRP today and it goes to $10, you just type in the amount that you're thinking and it will calculate what the, the value will be at at that point in time. So yeah, big shout out to CoinStats because it's an awesome app. I love it. It's automated. There's a free version and then there's a pro version. The pro version here is $13.99 a month or that's premium, sorry. So if you do four bucks a month, uh, so say 60 bucks a year for the thing, for the pro, you get a thousand transactions. Uh, and also if you invite people, you get a free three month uh, pro trial. So if you invite four people, you get a free year uh, thing of pro. So highly recommend this app. It will save you a lot of time and headaches when it comes down to tax time. Okay guys, so the second thing that I wanna show you guys is called Notion. And what Notion is, is a notepad that you can organize. So, for example, you know, in crypto Twitter, we're reading all these regulated documents. We're taking screenshots of stuff. We got it stored in a, in a file folder that's filled to the brim. It's unorganized. We can't see our notes. We can't see the things we saved. So this is how I'm going to show you to automate and create your own second brain. And uh, because there's so much information that we cannot save and it sucks trying to explain things that we've seen to people without being able to just be like, here, read it yourself. So this is where Notion comes in. This is completely free. It's a game changer. Check it out. It's a most awesome notepad that you can ever create. So for example, using Notion here, Okay guys, so this is how I have it set up. It's super easy to organize. You can add drop down lists uh, and then it's just one click away and you can have whatever topic, your research notes, screenshots, news articles, whatever you name it, just a couple clicks away and you have it. So for example, I have my quant tab. You see uh, awesome, you know, all your quant threads. I click that then they all come up. Anything I've written quant on, it's all in here and it's all on a drop down. Look at it. I just boom, just like that. Hide it away. Um, XTC, any, anything you could do this on anything. There's drop downs. There's so many different things that you could, uh, do to it just, it's a clean way to store your notes, store your thoughts. If you're doing research, if you're researching on a topic, look at, let's say I'm researching on blockchain. Well, I just put it into a drop down menu. Here it is. I want to add something else. Well, let's see. What can I add here? I can add a page. I can add a to do list. I can add headings, bullet points. You want to get really nice. Oh, a quote. Um, so that's, that's what this is. You can embed tweets. So you literally just take a link from Twitter. You copy your favorite uh, tweets and you just paste it there. You just paste it and it will come up like this. So you have, even have a visual to see what that link is about. So super game changer for taking notes, for storing it, for organizing it. It's not just in this gong show, you know, the basic iPhone notepad that sucks. It's not interoperable, but Notion you can use on your phone, you can use on your computer. And with a couple clicks, you have the content that you have organized. So just organize it nicely and you will never, you will never complain. So. This is a huge one that I think everyone should try. It's called Figma. And this changed my life. This, because you know, we're going through, we're processing so much information, so many infographics, so many um, different pieces of information that, you know, you want to see again one day, that you're going to want to reference. And if you see something and you screenshot it and you upload it to Figma or you upload it to Notion, well then you have that in your digital memory bank that you can pull up easily because you know where you put it. And I hope you guys attempt this and I hope one day, you know, you message me 
a year from now, six months from now, and you're like, hey, I took that mind map idea. I started my own, and look at what I connected together. Look at what I built. Look at what I mapped out. And I'm going to be like, hell yeah. That's awesome, because what I found the processes to make myself succeed. And what I'm trying to do is I want to help others succeed, because there is not very much educational content out there to show how people can progress, how they can better improve themselves. And this was a game changer for me because it allowed me to map out my mind. It allowed me to put things together so I can show examples to people. So I could be like, hey, check this out. Check that out. This is how I see it connecting together. Um, it's like a presentation board for your mind. And uh, I think it is a really big one. And I think, you know, take an hour, take it two hours. Like I put at least 80 hours into my big crypto mind map that I'll get into here. But uh, I just wanted to share this program with you guys. It's for designers, but it's free. Anyone can use it. And you know what? If you're a citizen of the future, have a second digital mind because you know what? Five years from now, three years from now, 10 years from now, you're going to be able to pull up documents that you would have long forgotten about and how it pieced together because look, it's all on your presentation board. It's literally a design software that if you want to put text, you can put text. If you want to put boxes, you want to put circles, you want to draw something out. You're like, hey, I want to draw. I found this connection and this connection. You just draw. You can draw circles. You can do anything that you set your mind to in this app. So it's really fantastic because you take screenshots of what you have found helpful you write your sub notes and you attach it to here so now picture this example you have all the movies you've ever watched in your life or all the news articles say all the news articles you watched in your life but it's only stored in your memory so you can never have access to those again except for doing the the hard research to find what it was but on figma you take screenshots, you put links, you, you say, I just w read this news article that's related to trade finance. So you have a trade finance section on your mind map. Say you have a, a section for banking. Okay, this relates to banking. Or, you know, I have a, a university spot on your mind map, which is just for university work, whatever you're in, whatever classes. You want to make connections to things. Well, draw them out on here. Use this as an idea board, a permanent idea board, where it keeps track of what you're building, what you're connecting together. And, you know, you do this over time. Like, I wish I started this four years ago, because if I started this four years ago, I would have four or five times the amount of information that I have today. So if you get started and organize it when you get started, like figure out, plan it out how you're going to put this together. So, you know, as you keep going, you, you say, hey, this was really neat where it was the, the global goals for the UN or what are the basics behind distributed ledger technology? And you, you, you can create this stuff. And then if anybody comes over to your house, you're like, hey, I could show you something, a visualization to explain these difficult processes, to explain these invisible networks or to, to map out your mind. And this is what I want to show you guys, because I want to plant a seed in everyone's mind that could be like, hey, you can use computers to your advantage. You can create things that are normally not meant to be created. So this is what I use. It's called Figma. Highly suggested out because look at this. If you did it, so I've, I've used Figma for about a year. And I'm screenshotting important documents and putting it on here mapping it out i know how i know every axis the y and the x axis i can pull up hey this one's quant this one's xdc this one's xrp this one's lcx you know i know where the spots that i put my utility tokens so it's a mess to most people people but i know how to read it since i've created it since day one um, just quickly guys if you have got any sweet tips from this like share it, retweet it. Let's get this information out there to help other citizens that don't have these processes in place. So leave feedback. Let me know how and if you take any of this advice and if it helps you in any way. Okay. This is what it looks like. 
Blockchain Essentials up here. XTC is up in the top left corner. Ripple's right here in the center. Now, these are all articles. I know if I think of something and I say, hey, I want to take you to uh, Interledger Protocol, the Mojo Loop. Oh, here we go, right here. I just pull you guys up. Here we go. This is my stuff on Mojo Loop. For example, that's how it works. This is how it's so handy is because you just copy paste and it's in there forever. So I hope this helps. I hope you try it out and then you send me some screenshots and you're like, hey, check out my mind map that I'm building. And I'm going to be like, damn right, citizen, that's sick. Keep up the good work. And you know what? If we can get 100 people doing this and have all our researches combined and, you know, everyone starts doing threads of like stuff they piece together and found and we literally have a community of citizens that are sharing their research to better everyone's knowledge as a team so that is my idea and pitch to you guys to check this software out because it could be used for crypto it can even be used for work it can be used for planning vacation planning whatever you name it it's a game changer okay so the next thing guys i want to recommend is everyone should know what 2FA is, two-factor authentication. If you're dealing with crypto, you're dealing with where you have funds on exchanges, always set up a 2FA. There's two options. So there's Google Authenticator, and then there's Authy. And I prefer Authy because one, Google Authenticator, if you lose that device, you're fucked without your backup key. Um, but with Authy, you can attach this, you can attach it to an email address. So say for example, you lose your phone that has your 2FA on it. You can recover your account by using your email address, unlike Google Authenticator. So this adds an additional level of security. Every time you sign in, it has a 30 second code that's regenerating that you will, that you type in to, uh, your exchange, it's its just a second layer of verification that nobody can get into your account without your mobile phone that has that code on there. So highly recommend to you guys, play it safe, spend the, five, the, spend the 10 seconds every time you log in because then you know somebody can't log into your account without that code and move all your funds. So 2FA is your protection. It is to protect you. So if you're dealing with crypto, you need to sign up to FA. So be safe out there, guys. Be your own bank, but be safe. Okay, this one is a game changer, citizens. So what it is, is called Scribble. Now, this is a highlighting uh, document saver. So when you go through a document, you do your, all your highlights, and you can save it into your own library. It's free. That's another best part about this. So I'm giving you all guys things that are free and, and god darn awesome. Okay, so <clears throat> let me show you. So what it looks like here is, so here's my library. Here's some of the documents. So, you know, you have a huge list of all your documents. You can search. Uh, say if I was looking for quant, something with quant or whatever, I can easily search it. I could tag it. Boom, boom. And anything that you highlight, it saves automatically. So here's your highlighted notes. So if you're a researcher, if you're in university, if you're going over things, check this app out called Scribble. It's literally a Chrome extension and it changes the game. Okay, so for example, this is how it works. So you, you just click the article that you've already highlighted notes for. You, you can rename it. You can rename your PDF. You can add uh, your different meta tag data. And then it opens up and here you go. All your highlighted notes from what you had before. If you wanted to make, uh, say, a comment, you're like, hey, this reminds me of something. And so you're just like this. You go comment here. And then it automatically starts your comment. You say, uh, let's see, blockchain technology. So we're saying this is revolutionizing. This is a revolutionary standard. Yes, I'm good at math, but my English ain't great. So don't judge me, guys. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so it's just easy as that. You know, you highlight a document, you just save it using an extension browser, and uh, 
yeah, just just like that. Boom, your notes are there. As soon as you hit enter on there, it date it date time stamps it. Oops, that's a bit wide. But yeah, look at time stamps it. So when you look back, you know, a year from now, you're opening up articles that you took notes on, and here you have all your highlighted stuff saved, all in an easy library that you can easily access, you could share with anyone. So you're like, hey, I just read this article. These are the highlighted notes. And, you know, if you create an anonymous account for Scribble, you can share with anyone. So that's like what I do when I share my notes with you guys. I just grab a permalink here. You copy it, copy, send. And they all they see is your username. They can't get any other access. They can't make changes. They can just look at what you highlighted and what you wrote. And, uh, yeah, so you do this for your friends. You do this for you know, your communities if you want. You, you go through a document. And, you know, you highlight your areas and here you go, guys. Feel free to take notes. Feel free to check it out. So, uh, yeah, it's called Scribble. It's free. Check it out. I think this would help you uh, just have a clear way to take notes, to highlight things and have it all in one place. So that's another recommendation that I have for you and I uh, hope you enjoy. Okay, guys, so the last thing I want to show you guys here is how to calculate a crypto entry and what I use to visualize my entry points uh, using an Excel spreadsheet. Anyone can create an Excel spreadsheet. It would take you an hour or two hours or you can find a template online somewhere. So yeah, let's dive into it. Is you have your crypto name, you have your buy-in price per token. So when you're investing in XTC or Quant, you're buying it per token, right? And then you have the number of coins that you buy and your total investment cost, and then I have it set up, so I type in the crypto sale price, or price and it will tell me the, uh, the, the value amount. So for example, say you're, about, you're thinking about buying XDC. I want to buy 100,000 coins at 6.5 cents. So you do 6.5 cents times it by 100,000, gets you your total cost, your total investment cost. So you invested $6,500, and then you can just do the, the price cost by typing in, you know, so you have 100,000 coins times, so this times it by your sale price, say $10, one day I see it hidden $10. So at that point in time, you know, you look, I could put say $15 there and then this will auto generate. So you just gotta do a couple multiplications. So you have a sum here times by uh, 100,000 times by whatever the sale price is, we'll get you your sum and then that's how you get your total value. <clears throat> so this is what I did is, is to create a nice neat investment plan for yourself. I suggest you just take, take the hour, or there's, I'm sure there's templates online, uh, and just either make it or find a template. And uh, yeah, so you just do, your, you find your crypto, you put in your buy-in price, you, you put in your total amount bought, Say you put in a hundred, you bought a hundred tokens. There you go, twelve grand. You put twelve grand into Quant, and say it goes to let's say just a, a really conservative menu number here. Let's say thirty-five hundred dollars American. So you buy a hundred Quant, and it goes to thirty-five hundred dollars. That's three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And then I created this side over here, which is my take profit side. So now you have three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Say whatever price you're like, hey, I want to take forty percent, or I want to take fifty percent. So I type in; it'll tell me how many coins to sell, the price paid. I paid this much for them. So my my profit here, and then total trade profit after what I paid, uh, one hundred sixty nine thousand dollars. Take home, and then you can uh, you can also add another one where. Uh, you know, your tax bracket, like say you're at a 30% tax bracket, it takes it off, etc., etc. But that's just how I set mine up. And, you know, if you're buying and selling crypto, this is the best way to ease your mind is know before you pull the trigger, you know, mess around with the numbers. Um, and that's how you do it. You have a X amount of tokens and then you times it by the value that you bought it, right? And then that's how you assess. And uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd show this to you guys to help give uh, some inspiration of some of the things that I do to stay organized. Um, and I hope some of this can benefit you in some way. 
And if you like these tips and tricks, you know, share it, like it, comment, let me know your feedback. And if you guys end up making a mind map or something, damn, tag me in it one day. I think that would think that'd be awesome. I'd be like, damn, my my advice helped change somebody's life. So keep it real, everyone. Keep digging, keep learning. We're in an industry at the forefront of the industrial revolution. This only happens every 30 to 50 years. Like stuff like this, like that we're going through right now is a once in a lifetime opportunity, people. So put in the work now because if you just delay it and you don't put in the work, oh, blockchain is just a fad and you don't do the research, well, in three years from now when people are going to be watching this stuff, they're going to be like, why didn't I see this back then? You know, so all this information is seeds. I like to call it seeds of information. And what you do with it, if you choose to water it and thrive and uh, let it flourish, good for you. And if you let it die, well, that's okay. At least I tried to help in some way and try to inspire in some way. I hope you guys all got something from this video. And if you did, like, comment, subscribe, and feel free to share tips and tricks that you found helped you below. Cheers, guys. Until next time.